Hello, children. I have some good news. Remember my fridge? My refrigerator now has that missing shelf thing. There it is, the prime cooling cabinet, available only in the deluxe version. Long story short, we were able to get the part through a third-party supplier and it cost us only 450 pesos and we saved a lot of money. And that concludes the refrigerator saga. The humble monopod is useful for more than just putting camera gear and stuff on it. You can actually use this as a cleaning implement for your house simply by attaching it to a feather duster like so with some zip ties. You can just stretch this thing out and now you can reach all of those hard to reach places which would otherwise be inaccessible to you. There you go. Embrace the jank, people. Embrace the jank. Do you see this thing sticking out over there? Okay, let me tell you the story about how that happened. Up on that windowsill is a pair of pliers. It's been there for several weeks now. It all began when I had to fix a jealousy in this window. In order to fix the window, I had to stand on this precarious little ledge over here and then hold on to this top corner right over here while using my left hand and a pair of pliers to fix the window over here. I had to do a kind of a Spider-Man stretch over this corner of the room to fix that window and it was a very precarious position. It was pretty hard to get up there. It was also pretty hard to get down and it was hard to fix the window just using one hand. After a lot of finagling, I finally managed to get down from that place except the moment I sat down I realized I left the pliers up there. And it's hard to get up there, so um, I think I'll just have to buy a new one. Hello, Pamunkins, Tito Frank here, and uh, I have a brand new segment for you all. If you recall the last time I talked about this channel doing some tech related stuff, well, this is it. Welcome to Tech Teens with Tito Frank, the quest for the ultimate Punkabuhayan showcase. We're going to talk about the tech tools that we use in our daily lives for work, study, play, entertainment, creativity, and all of that fun stuff. We are going to unbox stuff. We will test. We will experiment. We will review. We will modify. We're going to play around with all kinds of tech things and we're going to try to answer that most important question, Pwede ba tong gamitin bilang pangkabuhayan showcase? And today, we will be looking at the MSI Alpha 15. This particular MSI Alpha 15, this thing is special. We have upgraded this thing. We added an additional two terabytes of storage space plus a whopping 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is a rather insane amount of RAM for a laptop. But the thing is, we wanted to conduct an experiment. I wanted to see how this bad boy compared with my current desktop setup. It's an older machine, but it's kept up pretty well. In terms of specs, they're kind of similar, both with four cores and eight threads. And also, it's the only machine I have to compare this to, so there's that, diba? Use what you got. Embrace the jank. And since I'm probably gonna fill up this spot with a lot of B-roll, I just, I might as well read it off the paper because it's easier, okay? The MSI Alpha 15 is touted as the world's first 7 nanometer technology gaming laptop. It's got an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H processor running at 2.3 GHz and a Radeon 5500M GPU. It's also got the SteelSeries gaming keyboard and a numeric keypad and customizable per key RGB lighting. It has a full complement of ports on its left side, LAN, HDMI, mini display port, one USB-A, one USB-C, and separate headphone and mic jacks. And on the other side we have two USB-A ports, a card reader slot, very thoughtful, and the power input. Looking at the design details, it's clear that MSI was going for a race car aesthetic. You have this lid here with these lines that go around it, kind of like the hood of a sports car. And also on the back end, you have these vents that kind of remind you of these pimped out cars that you'd see in Need for Speed. Full disclosure, I'm not really that much of a gamer. I used to be, but now I really, I just don't have the time to game. I wish that I could get lost in a nice game, 
but I have other priorities right now. I prefer to evaluate tech based on real world use cases, the kind of stuff that I would use it every day for, for work, that sort of thing. I'm not gonna be focusing so much on benchmarks and frame rates and that kind of stuff. It's more of how useful this is to me. And so how does the Alpha 15 stack up against the, uh, one more. How does the MSI Alpha 15 stack up against the desktop? Well, there are pros and cons. In terms of raw processing power and brute computational strength, the Alpha 15 falls behind the desktop. But that's not surprising considering the 1.7 GHz deficit between the 6700K and the 3750H processor. But even then, it's still a very capable laptop. Although the Alpha 15 can only handle 4K editing in proxy mode, it has no problem with HD editing. HD editing works just great. The file transfer speeds on this thing because of the USB 3 is a lot faster than my old desktop, so moving files around, large video files, is totally not a problem. The full-sized keyboard with a numeric keypad is useful not just for video editors and for After Effects because yes, I need that numeric keypad for After Effects. It's very useful and I'm glad it's there. But it's also useful for people like accountants and people who have to input numbers all the time. And of course, it has RGB lighting for that Christmas feel. I didn't used to think that I needed RGB in my life until I had RGB in my life. You need joy and happiness and color and brightness and brilliance and RGB brings that to you. Embrace the RGB. Also, it feels a lot like Christmas, and I don't really have a lot of space to hang Christmas lights, so a keyboard will have to do. Now, as far as audio on this laptop is concerned, it's... it's... it's not very good. It's a good thing it comes with a bag of goodies, like this pair of headphones, which is... which sounds better than the speakers, but, you know, at least it's there. Now look here. All laptop speakers are crap. Some laptop speakers are better than other laptop speakers, but in general, most of them are crap. And the Loot Crate also comes with a bunch of other stuff, like a keychain, which I have already misplaced, and this unflattenable mouse pad, which is infinitely frustrating because it just won't, it won't flatten, it won't, it, it just, it's, there it is. There's a little bump in the middle. You see that? I can't straighten that out, no matter what I do. Nothing, nothing helps. But it's not just the speakers, it's the microphone too. The microphone on this unit, and I think the audio preamp that comes with the microphone is really not good. It's as though your mouth and your anus swapped places and all of the words came out of you in farts. That's, it doesn't sound that bad, but it kind of sounds like that. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, even though the audio quality isn't great, it's still functional and useful. If you need to make Zoom calls and conference calls over the internet, it will work just fine. But if you want to use this laptop for voiceover and audio work, then you're going to need two things. You're going to need an audio interface and a decent microphone because no self-respecting VO artist will use the onboard audio on their laptops for that job. If you do have an audio interface and a decent mic, or perhaps a really good USB mic, then that can carry over to any of your computers that you're going to use down the line. And it's an investment that you're gonna be using for a pretty long time, long after your laptop is dead. And lastly, what about gaming performance? Well, like I said, I'm not really that much into games, but yes, it's a gaming laptop and you can game very well with it. The frame rate is decent and for as long as you're not cranking up to insane detail levels, you should be just fine. So, in conclusion, can the MSI Alpha 15 qualify as a Pankabuhayan showcase? Pwede naman. But you have to know that there are better options out there. And with the release of 4000 series AMD processors and 4000... Bah! With the release of AMD's 4000 series processors for laptops, there's going to be a whole slew of powerful laptops available in the market. And I'm really excited for it because in the next episode, we're going to take a good look at one of them. And it's going to be epic. Yes.
And so, there you go. That is the first episode of Tech Teams with Tito Frank, the quest for the ultimate Pankabuhayan showcase. Tune in next time. Ina edit ko lang yung episode, okay? Promise, okay? Sige, love you. Bye. This is Frankie. This is the Frank. Okay, so there's gonna be that new show. So we've got tech teams, and there's going to be other shows. One that talks about life. So it's going to be called <laughs> Life Teams. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. But everything is going to be teams. Teams. T i n g s. Teams. That's fun. Yeah. Teams. Life teams. Um, tech teams, and uh, philosophical teams. <laughs> Depression teens, angst teens, <laughs> existential dread teens. All right, doing this, doing this. Ano pa ko ano? Yung yung mahaba tayo si Megan. Ah, ah, oh, what about that? <laughs> Kaso malalaglag lang siya. Hindi kailangan ko na something na mayroong yeah, pagipit, may pagipit to get that flyers. Maybe I'll just buy a new one. You can probably find one of those in Daiso. <laughs> well, I'll only get it for that purpose. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> Stupid pliers. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, do your college shit. I love Bye. you. Mwah. Mwah.